Hey there, Disney Glam fam, and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we like to celebrate Disney, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And sometimes Harry Potter. So if you like any or all of those things, consider bippity boppity bopping that subscribe button, ring the bells of notification so you're instantaneously notified when I post something new, and please leave a big old thumbs up at the end of this video if you liked it all the way through. Now today, if you couldn't tell by the title, I have an extra special video for you. That's right, we are gonna be trying some tasty treats and delights from none others than Honey Dukes. Now, as I have mentioned in my past video, I have been recently so obsessed with Harry Potter and the Wizarding World over at Universal Studios Orlando that I made it a point to try a few different treats here on camera for you guys. I'm so excited because I have not tried anything from Honey Dukes ever. Ever, ever, ever. So this is literally like my first impressions. It's my first time trying it. We are in for a treat. Yes, pun intended. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. Try this treat with me. Wh what, what kind of video is this? I don't even know. Let's just get right in. Oh, hold on. Actually, before we get started, I did want to take a quick moment and thank one of my beautiful and gorgeous Disney YouTube friends, Shelby, over at Bibbidi Bruner. She is the sweetest thing because she recently received a Wizarding Vault um, Bibbidi box, which is a subscription service through Bibbidi that focuses on everything Harry Potter. So in her Bibbidi box from last month, she received this beautiful Slytherin mini backpack. I DM'd her and I was like, hey girl, please let me know the brand of backpack that is because it was something that I thought would be perfect for the park. Hold up, hold up. She said, get this. I'm gonna do one better. Let me go ahead and send it to you. I told her, please, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. I just wanna know the name and the brand of the backpack so I could buy it for my trips to Universal. And she was like, please, let me go ahead and send it to you as a late birthday gift. So the other day, this showed up on my doorstep. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and share with you guys the backpack that she sent to me. Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Okay. So right on top it says, working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more, believing in yourself, Harry Potter. This is actually super duper cute and I'm probably gonna try to find somewhere to frame it. It has a wand on the side and aw, um, she wrote me a little birthday note. So on it, it says, Jossum, happy super late birthday. P.S. I kind of made you your own Harry Potter box. Love you a lot, Shelby. My own Harry Potter box? Shelby. You said you were sending me the backpack. What did you do now? Oh my goodness. Girl, you didn't have to. Okay, so she covered up this. Oh, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's even more beautiful in person. Let me go ahead and pull it out. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. It's like this nice, dark, emerald faux leather material on the front it has like embossed snakes it does have the house crest right in the middle and it has like this super cute tassel on this front um pocket it does have this nice zipper that goes all the way from side to side and inside yep she did go off the charts there's some there's some treats inside okay there's some treats inside. So inside it does have a pocket because I remember her showing that. But now I'm gonna have to share with you guys all of these cute things that she tucked in here. The first thing that she has tucked in here is actually pretty perfect for my park bag. So she has a Harry Potter umbrella and this is so pretty. So on the umbrella, um, I'm gonna pull it in so you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to kind of make it out, but there are different potion bottles. There are dragons, the hippogriff is there. What else is there? Is that the basilisk? I think there's the basilisk and the phoenix. So this is super cool. This is perfect for my park bag. And then let's see. Okay, so there is one more thing in here. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and take off the packaging so you guys can see. All 
All right, so she got me my own little Harry Potter beanie. And of course, it is representing my very own house, Slytherin. This is super cute and this is perfect because the holidays are coming right up. And I know Florida doesn't get like too cold, but I will literally be that person wearing winter wear in like 75 degree weather in December because why? That's when winter is supposed to be. So I wanna feel like I'm in winter even though it's summer. Thank you again, Shelby. I really, really, really appreciate the thought that you put into sending me this beautiful belated birthday gift. All right, so now jumping into the biggest part of this video that I'm sure you all have been waiting for, trying all of the treats from Honeydew. All right, so when I went to Universal Studios Orlando, Florida, I made a special trip over to Hogsmeade and went to Honeydew's. Now, Honeydukes is a specialty candy and chocolate shop in Hogsmeade at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I, of course, had so much fun looking around and selecting the treats that we're going to be trying today. So, of course, you can't have a taste test without Birdie Bot's every flavor bean jelly beans. I'm so excited because this was mentioned in the movie, so it's actually well known, and I am so excited to try it. I know that um, you have like quite a few really delicious flavored jelly beans, but then there's also some pretty atrocious ones in there. I really hope I don't get those, but I can't wait to jump in and try those. Next up, we have an acid pop. So this one I've never really heard of, uh, but when I was in Honey Dukes, I was walking around, and one of the associates was like this would be something unique to try um, and they definitely recommended it so I was like you know what throw it in my basket let's go ahead and try it next up there was a wall that had I think it was 30% off um, candies because they were in like these specialty tins um, I think they just had an influx of inventory and because of COVID and closing down they just wanted to kind of clear out some of the inventory since again this is an edible good and it says best before November 15th 2020 so as I said suspected they wanted to get rid of it um but perfectly fine it's september and i'm here to try this candy and it sounds delicious so this one that i picked up is um the pineapple cubes so the associate mentioned there's like lemon ones there's pineapple ones and i think there's another flavor um but these ones captured my attention because i love anything tropical i love pineapple and it's a candy so let's go ahead and see how that is next up i did pick up the jelly slugs now these are mentioned as soft like chewy gummy treats i do love like gummies and anything fruity and chewy like that the slug part not so much but i'm so excited to go ahead and try them and see how they taste last but certainly not least from all of the treats you know we had to pick up a chocolate frog this is probably even more of a honey dukes or candy staple in the potter films so i'm so excited to actually try my very first chocolate frog with y'all and also i do know that in each box you do receive a magic card i really 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 hope that i either get salazar slytherin or albus dumbledore um but any of them will be pretty cool at this point and also i forgot to mention to wash it all down you know i picked up pumpkin juice i have seen this every single time i've gone to universal studios and i'm so intrigued because of the little pumpkin on top i've come to find out that it's just like a little cap so it comes off and then you actually have the bottled beverage but this is a staple in Hogsmeade and also in Diagon Alley. So I'm so excited to try this. It's probably gonna help to wash down some of those disgusting like Birdie Bot flavors. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into trying these treats. All right, so first up, I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the pumpkin juice. That way it is on standby on deck for when I go into those Birdie Bot's jelly beans. So as I had mentioned, this is the pumpkin juice that they serve 
in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And we have this super cute bottle. I am so in love with like this little pumpkin topper and it's perfect because I can also use it as like decoration during this time. Um, but it just kind of covers the plastic bottle cap. Now, when I did purchase this from Honey Dukes, the associate mentioned, you do wanna flip it over and just give it like a really good shake just so that way all of the sediments mix into the juice and that way you get that nice pumpkin-y flavor. I'm excited because I'm the kind of person that loves pumpkin everything. Literally call me basic, but as soon as PSLs like come out in Starbucks, I'm there the first day grabbing my PSL of the season. I probably only do like maybe five or six throughout the rest of the year, but I love the pumpkin flavor. All right, so we're gonna shake, shake, shake it up. We are going to open it. Now, this was in a cold fridge at the parks. When I came home, I actually put it in my fridge. So I'm assuming that they want you to drink it chilled. So it's chilled, it's shaken up. Let me go ahead and taste the pumpkin juice. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Okay, this is delicious. So definitely you get that strong pumpkin flavor. And now I can see why they mentioned to shake it up beforehand because you can almost taste like some of the little spices that are inside of it. Um, it's very, very delicious. Yum, okay, so the pumpkin juice reminds me of apple juice. It has like a the same sweetness of an apple juice but it has that like warmth of the pumpkin. It's a little bit creamier. And then of course, like I had mentioned, it has like those nice spices in it. This is delicious. Now, like I mentioned, I like PSLs from Starbucks. So I get them hot and cold. My most recent visit, I actually got a cold pumpkin spice latte and it's very reminiscent to this, except this has more of like a juice flavor. So I really enjoy this. I definitely recommend it if you're in the wizarding world and you're looking for a crisp drink. Moving right along, let's just go ahead and pull the Band-Aid off. Let's get into the Birdie Box Every Flavored Beans. All right, so I wanna salvage this box. I don't wanna mess it up. All right, so we were able to pop in to the box. Inside you have a sealed bag with the jelly beans. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. We have all of the jelly beans here. Ooh, this is so difficult. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull one out. Okay, it's not too bad. The first one that I had, it almost tasted like a fruity, like like an apple, but it also had like a grassy flavor. Next one up. Mmm, blueberry. We have another one. These aren't so bad. Okay, that one was a little bit spicy. Why is it so spicy? <coughs> Do these have like chili or something? That one was spicy. Okay, we have another one. Mmm, tutti frutti. Are these supposed to taste bad? Because I kind of like every single one that I've eaten so far. All right, so these are really good. I mean, if you don't like jelly beans, then you're not gonna like this, but I enjoy jelly beans and all of these so far have been absolutely delicious. Um, let me see if I can like find one that looks gross. I mean, this one kind of looks gross, so it's like, a white and brown spotted jelly bean. Let's go ahead and try it. No, that one tastes like chocolate. I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to get the one that tasted like boogies. All right, boogers, 
But like in the movie, they would always say, oh my God, it tastes like bogus. And I don't know, like I walk around saying that now. Okay, I need to stop because that's like so rude. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Oh my god, that was so gross. Bro. I am so sorry, everyone. Um, yeah, I take back all of the statements that I said before. These are good until you get to the one that is disgusting. I don't even know what that was, but it's sitting in front of me. Give me just a minute because now I gotta clean this up. I, I gotta clean this up. All right, so we're back. Um, so Birdie Bot's final thoughts. You're gonna like these if you like jelly beans until you get to the nasty flavor. Again, I don't even know what it was, but as soon as I tasted whatever that was, like mixing in my mouth, I had to spit it out. I'm not a spitter, but that one I had to spit out. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go ahead and try the acid pop. So I'm trying to see if it has like a flavor, but I don't see anything here. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Okay, all right. So I really enjoyed that this lollipop had like double or triple the protection layer and then the casing to wrap it. Um, super sanitary, especially with so many people going to theme parks and touching things. I know that this is so well sanitized and ready for tasting. Let's go ahead and give it a lick. Oh my God. Mm. That one hits you back in the throat. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is so sour. Okay, so the acid pop, I get it. It's gonna be like a sour type candy. So this is gonna be like a lemon lime flavor. Um, and it's very reminiscent to Warheads. Like, Comment down below if your childhood consisted of warheads and airheads, because mine sure did. And this literally reminded me of that. Why did we put ourselves through that like torture of putting a candy inside our mouth that was so sour it would just make your mouth numb? Like, what were we thinking back then? But anywho, this is so reminiscent to that. It is tasty, but I don't know anyone that would be able to just like finish this pop with that acidic and almost very tart and bitter taste in the back of your mouth. So this one is yummy, not something I would probably ever pick up again, but it is a unique treat to Honey Dukes and definitely something you probably would want to explore. <sighs> Next up, we have the Honey Dukes tin can of the pineapple cubes. Now this one, I'm super duper excited to get into. Again, I love um, anything sort of tropical, especially anything pineapple. I'm gonna go ahead and sniff the top. So we do have the pineapple cubes and exactly as it's named, that's exactly what you see. So it is a pineapple candy cubed. It does look like it has like a dusting of sugar around it. So let's go ahead and pop it in our mouth and see what it tastes like. Ooh, it's a lot harder than I would have expected or imagined. Mm. I hope I go. I think it's a candy that you're gonna have to like suck on. Oh, wow. I initially thought it was like a chew, like almost like dried pineapple with um, like a sugar coating. Yeah, it's definitely not. So this is like a hard candy that has a distinct like soft sherbet pineapple flavor and then it has like a sweet sugar casing. It's hard, so you're gonna have to like sit here and suck on it, but it is very, very good. I like it. Mm -mm. 
don't try to chew it, you will burn through cheese. After having this in my mouth for what seems like forever, it's probably been like 10 minutes or so, I don't feel like the size has diminished in any sort of way. So this is definitely almost like a lollipop minus the stick because I'm still sucking on it and it's just like maintaining its shape. Um, it does still have that nice pineapple-y um, flavor to it. It doesn't have as much of that sugar on it. So it's like a very smooth, creamy pineapple candy. That's hard. Um, and then you suck on it. So these actually would be great in the park because you can just pop it in your mouth and have that kind of like sweet taste um, while you're maybe waiting in line for Hagrid's or the Forbidden Journey. Yeah, really good. I'm gonna have to take this out because literally I keep sucking and sucking and sucking and it's not going down. That's gross. Yo, where's my hand sanitizer? Next up, we're gonna be trying the Jelly Slugs. Now these, like I had mentioned, are the soft like gummy treats. So I just assume that they're gonna be similar to a gummy bear, but maybe in like a little slug shape. Ooh, these look so gross. Okay, let me pull it in so you guys can see. Ooh, but they do smell so yummy. Oh yes, they smell good. Okay, so it smells very like fruity and tropically. All right, they all look so gross, but I'm gonna go probably for the color that looks the grossest, which is this like lime green color. Oh yeah, ooh, she's stuck. Come on, slug. Okay, that was gross. <laughs> exactly like I thought. It's very much like a gummy bear, but in a slug shape. Um, the one thing that I will say is that it smells more fragrant than it has an actual taste. So I thought it was gonna be very like fruity and tropically. This one might even be coconut because it's very, very like faint. It's very gelatinous. It doesn't say any sort it doesn't say any sort of flavoring on it. it. Just says soft, chewy, gummy treats. So would I get it again? Probably not because there's no flavor. Like a traditional gummy bear, you'll taste like a cherry or a lemon or a lime or, you know, tropical. But this one is just like chewing. Yeah, I don't know if I would get this again. We are finally down to the piece de resistance. We're gonna be trying the chocolate frog. The famous chocolate frog. I'm so excited because I love chocolate, but I'm also super duper excited because this one comes in a specialty box that has a magic card. So I'm super excited for that as well. Oh my goodness, look at that big old baby inside. Side note, I hate frogs. The only frog that I think I'm ever gonna enjoy in my lifetime is this beautiful and fat baby chocolate frog. So let me go ahead and pull him out and give him a try. Ooh, I'm gonna turn it and let you guys see first. Ooh. All right, so I got Hunks of Woodcroft. Again, I'm a Harry Potter newbie, so I don't even know who it is, but let me read the back. So it says, Hunks of Woodcroft, driven away from his home by muggle prosecutors, Hunks is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village of Hogsmeade, the Three Broomsticks Inn, and the alleged to be Hanks Old Home. Okay, so that's super cool. Um, again, I don't really know who he is, and I probably should read the book so I don't look like a silly person in my next video, but here you have it. Um, there's not gonna be any sort of glamorous way of doing this. So I am just going to take a hunk out of its leg because this is a solid piece of chocolate. Mm. Okay, this is really, really good. 
super similar to like a holiday Easter chocolate, like the chocolate bunny, but in frog shape. This is literally making me feel super duper magical because when I was watching the movie, I really, really, really enjoyed the trolley scene in the Hogwarts Express. And I imagined what it would be like to eat a chocolate frog. And here we are, full circle, me eating a chocolate frog. This is really good. Now, I don't think I would be able to eat the entire thing. So definitely it's something you might wanna share with a friend. I would just get a knife chop it down the middle, maybe again in fours. You can easily split it. It is very sweet. It is a uh, sweet milk chocolate. I typically enjoy like a darker chocolate or chocolate that has a little something to it, whether it be nuts or like a cream filling or a caramel or something like that. But it's very good, it's delicious. It's super nostalgic for anyone that has read the books or even watched the movie, so. I definitely say it is a must do when you go to Honeydukes. And there you have it. That was my taste test of all of these delicious treats from Honeydukes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun trying all of these delicious candies and sharing with you my thoughts. If you've been to Honeydukes or if you haven't, I wanna know down in the comment section what treat would you be most excited to try or what treat have you tried that you really enjoyed? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know exactly what to do. Leave a big old thumbs up. That way I know you like this video all the way through. Without further ado, my friends, stay beautiful and have a magical day. Bye. <laughs>